Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to My Hobby Home. My name is Kathy. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to join me and do the sew along with me. You may not be doing this. We are doing the Robert Kaufman Silverstone pattern. Um, I already have all of my squares done. Now I'm sashing. Our instructions to assemble the quilt, you'll see our instructions there. We are to arrange the blocks in seven rows of six blocks, place a vertical sashing. So we're just going to get right on into it, guys. I hope you're having a fabulous Saturday. So these are my sashing pieces. And... Uh, I have to place one between each. So let's see. So I have to do one on the right side of five of the blocks. And then the sixth block does not have one. So I think what I'm going to do real quick is press my sashings because it looks like some of them have a wrinkle in them and I'll be right back. Okay, I think I knocked most of the wrinkles out of those. So what I am going to do is just line it up. I will do five squares and then I will throw one over to the side um, just to make sure I'm not doing too many of them. Which because I did cut too many sashings and since I cut more sashings than what I needed I would over sew so really what I need to do is just pull seven of them out there we go we got seven of them pulled out that's all I needed so I will just sew 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 so guys, how is your day going? How has your weekend started? I hope it's been going great. Nothing like starting the weekend off sewing. Um, it looks like we are close to having this done, or most people are anyway. If you are new and just starting, that is a-okay. A-okay. Um, if you do not, if you're new and don't know about this yet, I do have a Facebook group. The link is down in the description, along with the link for the pattern. If you would like to join us, you are more than welcome. We are having a sew along here, and the last day of August is the last day to submit photos in our Facebook group. There is a post listed under Featured. You will need to post anything related to the Silverstone Sew Along under that post. You can make comments. You can make um, post your photos there. Anything done with the Silverstone needs to go under that posting. I do have more than the one sew along going on. Um, this is where I will have all of my sew alongs is under that featured tab. And the last, as I was saying, the last day of August is the last day to get your photos in the group for the giveaway i will be giving away a prize reward i'm not sure what it's going to be called uh, a gift someone that is sewing along with me that is uploading their photos will receive a gift i have not decided yet if it's going to be judged we know what the pattern is. You can be using your scraps. This is a scrappy pattern. So you can be using your scraps. Um, 
me I'm smashing my stash so mine really isn't my scraps but I am using the Starberry line by Cory Yoder I believe that's who it's from because I love Christmas my absolute favorite season of the year holiday of the year it's just something about winter time I just love it So we are just sewing these sashings on all day. Now, in the Facebook group, you will see, uh, if you're new, you will see there are some people that have already completed their silver stone. They are beautiful. Y'all continue to amaze me with these color combinations. And I just love them all. <laughs> that is hard for me to I'm not that creative I couldn't see all these different colors going on but I do have um, some yardage some batik yardage that I would like to use up and I'm thinking something like this it would look really good in now I've seen some people y'all mm-mm-mm so pretty so pretty but it is late in the evening i can't see the sunlight through the window so that means it's probably after eight. Oh yeah it's almost 9 p.m but i'm still gonna say so sharon i'm at it again girl i'm at it again i'm gonna be sewing past my bedtime that's okay it is okay if I say past my bedtime because all I got to do tomorrow is work I mean that is all I got to do tomorrow so it will be okay I'm just getting it done here getting these sashings on y'all I've been um, doing a lot of gardening this week we're supposed to get a lot of rain I hear somebody outside I don't know if that's my husband outside or somebody driving up to my house I don't know Probably could be my daughter. I don't know. But I'm going to give you guys hopefully an hour tonight. Or however long it takes me to sash these up. Which is going pretty quick. Now once I get all of these sashed, I will press to the colored strip to my sashing because I just feel like that is easier I know what that is my husband is outside trying to we have armadillos tearing our yard up and getting under our house tearing up our um, skirting of our house I do live in a double wide mobile home so we have skirting and uh, we have armadillos tearing it up so we've got to stop that so I hope he doesn't have the the loud pew pew but he's trying to watch, find out where they are. We have traps that we can trap them. 
but they they're tearing up our house underneath our house I always tell him I don't want to know what he's doing. You know, normally he traps them and just relocates them. I'm hoping he don't see one. I'm hoping he just, he knows where they're coming in and out from, and I'm hoping he just traps it and takes it to a new home, which is not mine. But, yeah, my, my daddy loses it if he, if he has an armadillo in his yard. <laughs> because they just tear his yard up. He must have grubs or something in his yard that they love. But, but we put stuff in our yard that keeps us from having such as that. Because we try to deter the armadillos from getting in our yard. And I think I've had one in one of my raised beds the past week because my little okra bed it's got a big old hole dug down into it and I've been thinking it was a cat but it may not be it could be an armadillo done found his way how to get in there If I got an armadillo digging in my garden, hmm, it's not going to be good. We won't need a trap because he's he's messing with my food source. Then I'm not trying to feed him because I know I have lots of little um, worms in my garden bed. Because we make sure they're in there. Because that means you've got good soil if you do. And you get the worm castings for extra um, organic matter. But yeah. So guys, I'm sewing, 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 sewing. Y'all can see it. I'm getting it done, getting it done. I would like, I have another sew along that I'm wanting to do with my own dasher. And I don't know exactly when that one is going to happen, but I want to do it possibly next month that way I'll have several quilts I'm hoping to have my pressed flowers finished and ready to be quilted y'all see I have I don't know if you can see that but it's not even right there <laughs> so what I do I even it up on that one I can't, my fingers aren't grabbing real well right now. I even it up on that one all the way across. And then I just lay it down because I know if it's straight. That it'll be straight all the way down. I don't think it's a full quarter of an inch off, so... Maybe it won't hurt too bad. But gosh, yes. So what do you guys have on? I, I did see where I, um, several people are doing donation quilts where they're donating to veterans. I've been hearing a lot about that. I guess I need to find somewhere in my area that does those. Um, I have an old school friend from like elementary school that he does 
a fundraiser for veterans. I guess I could email him and ask him if he knows of someone that does, you know, that takes quilts for veterans. Because I would definitely love to do a quilt for a veteran. And, you know, I have all this red, white, and blue um, scrap fabric. I could easily make a string quilt for a veteran. And donate that. I have a lot of fabric, red, white, and blue, that's not necessarily scrap, but... I love making those string quilts, y'all. I haven't touched mine in about two weeks. So, maybe, maybe I will get that done um, as I am finishing up my sew along with this because I figure I probably have two more weeks and I should be able to send to the long arm if I don't do it myself if I don't sew it myself or quilt it myself my biggest problem with doing with quilting I don't really have the space to sandwich my quilt so sometimes it's just easier for me to take my backing and just carry carry it to uh, Miss Dee Dee at Stitched and Fay and let her just long arm it for me Sometimes that's the best option. And she does fabulous work anyway. I love I love how she long arms my quilts because I normally pick an open design for my quilts because I am going to use them. Um, they're not going to be something that like hangs on the wall that needs to be stiff or anything like that. It's going to hang on the wall. I mean, it's going to be used, so it doesn't need to be stiff. It needs to be soft. Now, I have some small projects that I am going to be quilting. Most, most of my small projects, I can take my machine off my table here, and I can lay it out and sandwich it real, you know, I could sandwich it here on this table. So, guys, I'm making quick work on my stack here. It's going real nice. Now, when I am done with these, I am going to kind of mix them up because I have a lot of reds and blacks and greens all together and I have several of the light colors all together so what I'm going to do is try to give it a randomness that's why I'm not laying them out I'm not well first off I do not have a design wall and that's okay I don't need a design wall especially when I'm doing something scrappy don't need a design wall <clears throat> but what I I will be doing is just kind of mixing these up I want it to be very random looking I don't want it to have 
a pattern, you know, not a set pattern. Like, I don't want all my reds in the same area. Like this one here, I may flip here because my red is at the top right of that one. So I don't want all my reds in the same location on the blocks. So I just try to turn them if I, you know, find the best place for it. And guys, I will let y'all know that if you look down in the description, I do have links for my favorite quilty items. Um, I go in and I add things frequently. And some of the things are things I would also like myself. <laughs> so they're not always things that I have, but um, some of the things I have, most of the things... And, well, the only thing I had on there that I had never used and did not have was the Stripology ruler. And I now have one, and I have used it. You might have seen, um, I don't, sometimes I record shopping hauls and thrift hauls, and you may not see them for a week or two. But I have one that's Happy Mail Shopping Haul. It's thrifting and shopping and Happy Mail. Some of my Happy Mail was thrifting. Um, I was able to get a Stripology ruler. It is an older one. But y'all, oh my goodness. I have one kind of like a Stripology that I got at Walmart, I think, or Amazon. I'm not real sure. But um, it is a thinner material, but the Stripology one is an acrylic roller, so it's, you know, you're not going to shave it off like you would a thinner plastic. But I think that's the only thing that I had on my list that I did not have but I really wanted one and so now I have the like I said it's an it's an older one and it's called an extra large but I don't see it as extra large it's just a a regular like 24 inches I think But I know how I love my other one that I have. And I can only, I, I know I like this other one too because it it is a harder, it is the acrylic. So like I said, it doesn't bend as easy as the other one that I have does. So the other one that I have, it may actually be going thrifted or something like that. It, it may go on Marketplace or something. I don't know. But it's too big, really. I was thinking maybe I could just ship it to somebody, but I think it's too big to ship because it would have to be in a flat box because, and you can't just find flat boxes that size. I didn't get this going right. <laughs> Trying to think of all the exciting things I have going on. Um, I do have another test block out. I don't know if I've gotten it released yet or not. As of me recording this... I don't even have it edited yet. I have it recorded, but not edited. That's what happens when you record a lot. Um, when I stayed home last week with my grandbaby. And it gave me an extra long weekend. 
I did a lot of recording that weekend. Not while I had the grandbaby, but I got a lot of recording done. And I just, re I just edit what I need. You know, I'm like, okay, I'd like this video this day. And so I have several videos that will be coming out. And like that video still may come out before this one does because I'm pre-recording this and it does not go out until Saturday morning at 9 a.m. So it's just according to how things go. But I hope you guys come and join me tomorrow for the sew along on the grandma's scrap quilt. That is turning out very beautiful as well. That one is definitely smashing my stash. I've had those two fat quarter bundles. Now y'all know I've only been uh, quilting for a year. So I haven't had them a year. But. I have had them, I think it's pretty safe to say I've had them um, about 10 months at least. But I am smashing my stash and using those two fat quarter bundles up, which is exciting because I love those fat quarter bundles. Now see, here's where I get to a lot of the lights the light colors and that's why I'm going to mix them up a little bit when I I lay them out I'll just I'll just take them and what I'll do is I'll start stacking my five or six together Okay, we don't want both of them being all of my whites and lights being on the top, right, and bottom left. We don't want that. I tried to make sure they weren't side by side. That's the only thing I did was try to make sure I didn't have two of the same color, like, right next to one another. That they at least alternated. Y'all, I've got me a nice little stack of them going right here. I'm on my last one, y'all. Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. We like that. <laughs> and I've only been sewing 30 minutes. But I will take a little time and press out, press these out towards the sashing. Get my, my strip laid down right. I will press my sashings. I will go ahead and keep talking to you as I'm trimming them apart. I'll get my little crafty caddy over here. And I don't want to knock my pattern on the floor, so I'll lay it there. Put my little caddy up here. But, yeah, guys, um, the sew-alongs, we do have the Facebook group, so I'm just going to reiterate that. I do love it when people come and sew along with me. And, you know, I like giving little surprises to people. Um... 
it's just something I like to do. I've always been like that. I've always liked to give cute little gifts to people. So if if you are sewing with me on the silver stone, make sure to put your photos. And if you don't have Facebook, my email address is down in the description and are you having trouble getting your photos to go to the Facebook group under that com under that post? Email me your photos and I will make sure they get in there and I will put your name on the po you know on the comment telling who sent it to me. I think the only one so far that has been sent to me is Miss Sharon Frampton. And I got her photos out there for her. So, Miss Sharon, I'm waiting for an update. I want to see how your quilt is coming along. I think I've seen Tams and I think Tammy. And let's see who all. Tessa. There's quite a few people that I've I've seen their posts. I'm trying to run through the names that I've seen in there that's posted. There's quite a few of them. I can't remember all the names. Y'all, I think that's a thing of getting older. You just can't remember things no more. I mean, now see, I was telling y'all I, I cut a few extra. I had three extra right there. That I did not need. So what I will do is I will. I do use Best Press Spray. I love the smell of that stuff. I use Linen Fresh. Yes, I use Linen Fresh. Best Press Spray. And I will go on and say this here now. I am not sponsored by anyone. Um. I am an Amazon affiliate, which all that means is I have links that you can look at things on Amazon just to see if it's something you may want. You know, you can read descriptions and dimensions and all that. I'm guilty of that. And, um, and if you ever purchase anything, it does not cost you a thing to go through my link and purchase anything, but I do earn a small commission from it. Um, when I say small, itsy bitsy tiny small. Put it like this, the commission that I've earned so far won't even fill my gas tank up. I've got a couple strings here. Alrighty, so now I have all of them trimmed apart. So what I am going to do, I am going to go over here and press and I'll be right back. Well guys, I am done pressing. Let me show you what I did though. As I was pressing, the ones that had no red in them, I made a stack of those. Now these are my ender pieces. The ones that had the red in this location, they have a stack. I literally made a stack for each one of them that had the red in different locations. This is the stack with the least. <laughs> so what I'll probably do is take these two stacks and put together because this one doesn't have very many. I'll go on and do that, put them, because what I don't want to happen is to have a lot of reds go in the same direction. So what I will do is I will pick one from each stack, because let's see, we have to have five. So one, two, three. And 
and then I will just grab one here. Well, I don't even need to do that. Yeah, I do need to do that because what I want to do is create my stacks and start sewing them two at a time. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm creating my stacks. Now, probably what I should have done was started with um, like a second one here. So I'm going to change that one up. One, two, three, four, five, six. And see these squares, they can go any direction. So I will start with the third one now. And what I'm doing, that is how mine are going to be random. I'm just grabbing from a stack and making them. That way, all of my reds aren't the same. Now, see, like this one doesn't have a red. So... And we're going to have seven rows. And this way, those with all the whites aren't all on the same one. So we will have different sets. And I don't even know where I, I don't know if I started on this and it don't matter. I'm going to just, I'm going to start on that one anyway. I don't think I'm going to go that one. I'm going to go this one. Just kind of giving it a little, let me see how many I've got there. I don't need that one. I need this one. So right now we have five sets. Thought we had seven sets of six. One. And I know I had exactly the number needed. So that's six sets, and this will be our last set. So we're going to, these have no red in them. So we are going to I may change some of these out, but not sure. So now we have seven sets. So what I am going to do and I sewed them where all of the strips are on this side. And this will be the last one. So what I am going to do is get my first one and my second one. And I have plenty of time to get y'all because it took me about 20 minutes to press all of that out. So I have plenty of time, y'all, to get you an hour-long video. Now, it is almost 10 o'clock, so I may need to stop at 10, but I'll try to get you an hour in, at least. I know it's not gonna be an hour. I had about 35 minutes in. when I started pressing. 
so I'll try to give you at least another 20 minutes that we can do this let's see that's one two and I'm going to do each row individually I'm not going to try to do two at a time because that confuses me oh no and all my blacks are going to end up on the same direction I think I'm going to swap this one out. Because I have um, black squares in each of these. But I didn't pay attention to the black squares, which is okay. For some reason, that one was a little bit longer. It will be okay. Now this one here, I realized that sashing was just a hair shorter. So what I'm going to do is line up my other piece. I'm not shooting for perfection. I'm shooting for dawn. That's all I'm shooting for. Because there's a lot of forgiveness when you're sewing in that quarter of an inch seam. You can have all kinds of craziness going on up in that quarter of an inch seam, but as long as it catches, it'll be okay. Now we're gonna make sure we only have six, one, two, three, four, and this will be five. And make sure you're sewing it where your strip is or your sashing is in the right location because that would not be good at all if it wasn't And I hope you guys have been enjoying the Silverstone. This is a quick, easy, I mean, if you sit down and, and sewed straight on this um, over a weekend, I think it's very possible to have it done in a weekend. But being that I really only sew on mine like a week, you know, an hour a week, maybe a little more than that oh both of those reds are in the same location aren't they it's okay this one hit this one here i could put the red wherever i want it to go but i don't want this and that one be side by side because They're the same exact color, same exact pattern. Even though we have the sashing in between it, I don't want to do that. But you know what? That's part of just being scrappy and random is things fall where they may. Okay, so now we have our first strip, our first row completed. 
and this is what we're looking at i will be pressing towards the sashing so this is what we're looking at oh those look like bow ties don't they <laughs> so that's the first row this will be my second row sashings go to the right making sure I got it lined up there And I actually, I know some people are probably thinking, boy, you're going fast today. I have my machine is actually set on about 50% speed. So it doesn't matter how hard I press down, it's not going to go at full speed. Because I don't, well, it's probably about at 75% right now. Oh, those two blacks come together. It's got those side by side, but they're not the same pattern, so I'm okay with that. Once again, it's going to be scrappy, so I'm just trying to not get a whole um, lineup, a bunch of the same color together. Because I don't want it to look like it's a design being made, because it's not... That was close on that one there. Let me check that out and see. Yeah, I may need to reinforce the stitches on that one just a little bit. I know there's a risk that could come loose. I'm going to give it just a few extra stitches there. Let's see if we can't. I'm going to move these over here because I have my, my overflow fabric going over here. like we are getting close to being done here with doing our sashings our or our side sashings I'm only on row two and we have seven so I may actually stop on this row I don't know we'll see because it is after not quite 10 yet I'll give it a, another 15 minutes maybe that'll put me a little past 10 o'clock And I know if I just kept sewing that. Okay, there is no red on this at all. So I kind of, yeah, I want that, I want that red up there.
So that is our second row. Grabbing our third row here. Oops, I need to just leave it laying over here and I know that. I know a few people are already done making their silver stone. So that's great. Tell me what you think about this pattern. Um, is this a pattern that you may keep in your repertoire for your scraps in the future? I mean, is this something that you may use? Or what is your go-to? scrap buster i mean do you have one i mean is there a favorite that you have maybe that you go to when you're ready to eliminate your scraps i do know that um i am doing a string quilt it's just a random string quilt i'm using my sugar berry up from the sew um, the quilts along the fat quarter shop quilts along with the pressed flowers I'm using what I had left of that because I actually had some layer cakes I had three layer cakes that I had only used a few pieces out of and uh oh I'm gonna have two greens together oh well but and then I have scraps for red white and blue and I know you can't see it but I got a new storage here those little storage bins I have well that's not that's finished projects to be quilted that's my sugar berry that's my red white and blue and the one down below that is just my random fabric some of them I've used. Some of them ended up in um, small coordinated bundles that I used a piece out of. And so I just put it there. Put them there. I mean, I know they're not scraps, but if it's just a fat quarter... You know, I may look in there for pieces anyway of something that I need just a, a little bit of a certain color I may look in that okay oh I've got two of the well let's see I don't want the same exact pattern I'm going to change out. At least it's a different color. <laughs> I had two of the same exact color, same exact pattern, side by side. And like I said, even though I have that sashing, I mean, I really don't want them the same exact color and pattern. Same exact color is okay. But not pattern. I don't want the same patterns. Now I have different colors, same pattern. That's okay. But we are on row three. Yep. It's about that time for me to, um, to shut it down. Because I still have stuff I got to do in my house. I have a load of laundry I need to go on and, and fold and get put away for next week. My last load of laundry. 
My husband had to work on my washing machine because it had gotten to where I couldn't wash anything because it would get off balance and my machine will shut off if it's off balance. Well, he had to work on that and get it, get it working for me. Okay, I didn't show you my second strip, but this is my, my third one. Oh, we got two whites together, but that's going to be okay. I think that's going to, oh, we got two checkers together like that. Oh, we got a lot of checkers on this row. I think that's just going to add to the dimensions of this. So guys, that's three rows that we have put together. And we had a few pieces of sashing left, which I'm just going to throw them in my scrap bin back here. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm hoping I have enough to give you guys an hour, if not about 45 minutes. Uh, so you'll have something to sew along with me on today. Um, come back tomorrow at 9 a.m. And we will be working on Grandma's scrap quilt. So leave a comment. Tell me what you think. I do try to respond to each and every comment personally. And as always, until I see you again, I hope you have a very blessed day. Goodbye.